The stroke alert notification icon is used to initiate a stroke alert activation at the receiving stroke center. See your local protocols for circumstances that require EMS to initiate a stroke alert activation to the receiving stroke centers. Here's how it works. First, click the icon. Then, fill out the form. You'll notice that the form requires you to input all areas highlighted in red and are self-explanatory. You'll notice that the stroke alert form is a bit longer than the other forms, but I can assure you that this is designed to expedite the transfer of care from EMS to the hospital. Also, the stroke alert notification is currently being reviewed to make it more efficient for EMS and the hospital. If you have suggestions to make this notification better, send them to Jeff, that's G-E-O-F-F, -F, at O-C-M-C-A dot org. Start completing the form by selecting your EMS unit number, which is customized to your EMS agency. It's not mandatory, but you can enter the patient's first and last name to help expedite patient registration at the ED. Then, input the patient gender and age. Next, input the date and time of the patient's last known normal, or the time they were last at their mental baseline. Also, input the date and time of the sign and symptom discovery date. This info isn't mandatory, but it is valuable to the ED. Then indicate if the patient is conscious by selecting yes or no. Other than the ETA, the remaining fields are not mandatory, but they are very valuable to the receiving stroke center. Indicate if the patient has a history of stroke by indicating yes or no. Then indicate if the patient has a history of anticoagulation medication use. If so, document the date and time of their last dose if known. Then enter the vital signs. EMS can enter the Cincinnati Stroke Screen and FAST ED Stroke Severity Scale findings into the Stroke Alert notification, but it's not mandatory. For reference, all EMS screen for stroke by using the Cincinnati Stroke Screen. Some agencies also use the FAST ED Stroke Severity Scale for patients that screen positive for stroke. In either case, document your findings in your Stroke Alert notification and help keep the process smooth and efficient. The final mandatory field is ETA. Once you've completed the form, hit Attach in the upper right-hand corner. You'll then be prompted to select the destination hospital that you're attempting to transport the patient. Select the destination hospital and hit Send. Prior to sending, review the summary. The eBridge application also allows EMS to send audio, video, or pictures along with the notification to help the hospital understand the circumstances of the scene so that they can best serve the EMS crew and the patient. In the case of a stroke patient, consider taking a video of your stroke assessment and sending it to the stroke center along with the notification form. To do this, click on the plus sign on the right side, then select Record Video. Your device camera will open automatically. When it does, hit Record and capture the stroke assessment. For example, this is a real-life case where EMS recorded their stroke assessment in the back of an ambulance prior to transport. This was recorded on an iPad with the eBridge application. This video reveals more to the receiving stroke center than any audio conversation can convey. This is very powerful information that can be shared with the hospital and even the stroke team so that they can mobilize as fast as possible. Remember, time is brain, so the faster EMS can deliver vital information to the stroke center, the faster the stroke team can make treatment decisions and restore blood flow. After recording your stroke assessment, you'll notice that it is automatically attached to the notification. When you're ready, hit send and wait for the hospital to call back via the eBridge application. The hospital will receive and review the notification form and any notes or attachments. Then the hospital will contact EMS via the eBridge application and take report. Hospitals are aware of the serious nature of strokes and they will contact EMS at their earliest availability. Once communication is established, give your stroke report to the hospital per your local protocols and keep it clear and concise.